Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. Today we're trying some new soup. Recently we got a membership to Sam's Club. If you're not familiar with Sam's Club, they are affiliated with Walmart, but it's like a um, club store. Where warehouse can, Club, yeah. Yeah, Warehouse Club, where you can buy things in bulk or larger sizes or just, you know, something different. Mm -hmm. And so we were perusing their refrigerated section and we came up with these soups. I don't know if we have ever really you let us know. Have we ever let you know how much we love soup? <laughs> we love soup. If we go to a restaurant where there's a soup of the day, oftentimes we'll get a little cup of soup before a meal. I love to make soup from scratch, yes, like make my own broth, all that kind of stuff. I like to make cream soups. I love to take um, veggies from the garden and make a good hearty soup or leftovers from Thanksgiving or whatever. We love soup and the winter is coming to a close-ish. Fingers crossed. I say that today while we're getting a million inches of snow outside, but <laughs> we haven't had our sufficient like fill of, of soup, soup for the winter. So um, potato is one of those. You know when you go to a restaurant and they say, here's what soup we have today. We have chili and we have this and we have that. If they say potato, almost always they can convince me. They would convince me even if they said potato. <laughs> so loaded potato soup. I do make potato soup, but can we buy it convenience? And those are big things of it. Yeah. Would that be good for lunches for us? Because we're oh, always kind of like struggling I, for lunch. So we'll yeah. see if we like it. That's a pretty safe bet though. Yeah. It's in my opinion, it's hard to really make potato soup. Like even when it's plain, even when it's just a little bit of thick creamy stuff and a potato here or there, enough salt and pepper and you can doctor it up with onions or whatever you want on your own. It's hard to mess up potato soup. Yeah. But these I'm a little bit more skeptical of. Hmm. Seafood soup sometimes is all right. Seafood Clam soup. Clam chowder. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. These, these I don't know. We'll see. I feel like in my bones I'm going to prefer the shrimp one. Yeah. The shrimp and corn chowder mm -hmm. and then this is lobster bisque. Right. So I guess we're going to heat these up and yeah. and try them and tell you what we think. All right, we're back. Uh, so all of these uh, can be cooked on the stovetop or in the microwave. Uh, so we just cooked these in the microwave. Um, it was six to seven minutes for each one. And okay. Here we are. Now, truth be told, we didn't really plan ahead too well because this is our dinner too. So everybody. <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed yes. that this is good. Yes. Um, I mean, I guess we do have stuff for sandwiches or <laughs> something. This yeah. is what we're planning on. I would like to go, unless there's an argument from you, I would like to go loaded baked potato Let's do first. it. Yeah, fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. I like that they both, it comes in like a two pack. Okay. And uh, there was more than one bowl in each container. Okay. So at first glance, it's not an uber thick, like when I make potato soup, I usually do like chowder, yeah, I would say. Yeah, yeah, Um, I can see chunks of potato. I think there's onion or green onion. Does it tell you? Uh, there aren't a whole lot of potatoes in there. It doesn't look like it. certainly doesn't look like the picture. No, it doesn't. Homestyle cuts of potatoes simmered with a select blend of seasonings, uncured bacon, and cream cheese. Flavored with chopped scallions and chives. Hot! <laughs> it's hot. This was the last one that was cooked. <laughs> Or heated. All right. My goodness, that's hot. <laughs> like center of the earth hot. <laughs> um. Woo. So, sometimes people say snarky things in the comments, and I'm speaking to you now. We always try them. You know, people will say things like, what you should have done is blah, blah, blah. I would blah. add this and I would add that. And here's what we'll tell you. We want to try them because the manufacturer 
assumes that this is here you go, here's your lunch. Right. So I shouldn't say snarky comments. Some of you don't mean it like that. Some of right. you do. <laughs> um, but anyway, we like to try it as prepared first before we doctor it up and let you know mm -hmm. what we think. Potato soup almost always is going to need more salt and pepper for me. Uh, I think almost always. Pepper for me always. Um, sometimes salt. This needs a little bit of salt to me. It doesn't need a ton of salt because it does have some bacon in it, but you can, you know, it's not uber chunky. There's not a ton of bacon. It definitely needs pe pepper. So I'm going to let that cool off. Then I think we'll season it. We have our salt and pepper with us. So we'll try it both ways. But I think the flavor is pretty good the way, you know, it is now. I, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Here's what I'll tell you. When you say loaded, if you would have said baked yeah. potato soup, I'm with you. Yep, yeah. that's potato soup. When right. you say loaded mm -hmm. baked potato soup, and I'm sure what they mean is like loaded how you would a baked potato with sour cream or you yeah. know, whatever. Yeah. Um, I always expect, when I hear loaded, I expect bacon, I expect onion, I expect cheese probably. There's mm -hmm. no cheese that I could find. Um, Just cream cheese. Yeah. It feels like an okay potato soup like you would find in a can or whatever in your yeah. grocery store doesn't feel like loaded baked potato to me. No, and to be honest, so far what I've seen is, you know, it needs more potatoes For in sure. the potato soup. Oh, by the way, this is Members Mark brand and it is the brand, like the store brand for Sam's Club. Yeah, and you know what's funny? You can read this one when we get there, but um, I after we got our Sam's, you know how this works, after I got our Sam's Club membership, then I was online and the very next thing that was suggested to me was an article about Sam's Club. You know how that stuff works yeah. out? So it was who makes things for Sam's Club. So it said like their members mark coffee was made by Starbucks and their members okay. mark batteries were made by Duracell. So I'm wondering who makes the soup. Their soup. Yeah. It's that soup was decent, but I'm gonna I'm gonna zhuzh it up a little yeah. bit. Let's yeah, yeah, it was see okay. What it says about shrimp and corn. Generous amounts of tender shrimp and corn with sweet red peppers and diced potatoes in a creamy tomato broth with sauteed onions and garlic, seasoned with a Cajun spice blend. This smells like old bay mm. and this looks loaded. It, yeah, it does it look It looks good. very chunky. I mean, it is a chowder as opposed chowder. to a soup. Looks good. Does look good. Hopefully not as hot. Both hot. Switch. Mm. I'm going to make sure I try the actual shrimp. All right, my turn. It smells good. And when I was uh, microwaving it, it, uh, it actually smelled like, like seafood. Yeah. I like it quite a bit. I, I kind of thought coming into this, potato would be my favorite then shrimp and corn, mm -hmm. then lobster. But I also knew that there was a potential that I wouldn't like the shrimp and corn or the lobster. Yeah. I really like the shrimp and corn. The shrimp and corn is really good. That is really the good. perfect consistency for me. That's how I like my potato soup. Mm -hmm. I like potato chowder. Yeah, right. Um, I like that a lot. It's not, there is a seafoodness to it, but it's not like, fishy if that makes sense yeah it makes sense it kind of sm it kind of smells it. like it is yeah going to be but it doesn't taste like fishy. that yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's good there I is like a it. tomato you know there's a kind of like a hint of that mm -hmm. but it's not like tomato soup it's no. really hard to describe it's very savory creamy mm -hmm. um yeah there was a it's very chunky you know what i like and you know we're coming at you from Iowa and uh, you know corn is king here that's what our main export is I think I mean that's what you see everywhere anyway yeah, right and so sometimes when there's corn added to something we're a little particular I would say that tastes like 
And what I like to do instead of using canned corn when I can is get sweet corn from a stand or from the grocery store and cutting it off the stock and adding it to soup. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. Like the corn is really, it pops in your mouth. Yeah. And there's it's it's definitely mushy. a sweet corn for sure. Yeah. It's, a, it's got a great flavor. Yeah. So yeah, I, so far I like this one the best. Yeah. That's great. Oh. Um, I hate when we love the same one, but yeah. there's plenty to share. Now, lobster. Lobster bisque. I never have I ever had lobster bisque, I'm pretty sure. Because if there's a choice of any other soup, I would never go this. Yeah. Well, let me move this. And Do you know if you've had it? That over there. I think I have. Um, yeah, I, th I think so. This is described as authentic New England style recipe with sweet, tender lobster pieces cooked in real butter. Deglazed with a splash of splash of sherry, and simmered with light cream and lobster stock. Well, so if, that's a whole mouthful, and it sounds like it would be delicious, but we'll see. There's like barely any texture to this, which mm. I always pictured bisque as being like how this is, but with big, juicy pieces of lobster, not I don't little know. bits. I think... If you know, let us know. Yeah. How it's supposed to be. Next. Trying the soup. I almost had a childhood moment where I put that in my mouth and I was like, I don't know if I can swallow this. <laughs> Because I wasn't sure, it was like I wanted to swallow it before I tasted it because I had that unsure feeling. Um, that's not it for me. It definitely has a seafood taste to it. Like it was cooked in... The sea. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the texture. The, the, um, I would rather have the big hunks of lobster instead of... It's almost like um, tuna fish flakes instead of chunks of lobster and that almost like triggered a gag reflex in me when thank I you was, for mentioning when that. i was getting ready to swallow it am i wrong though isn't no. that what it is it's just little I mean, flakes of lobster that's the thing i mean you could i believe replace the lobster in here with canned tuna and probably get the same flavor because that's really kind of what it tastes like yeah so yeah. you weren't a fan either no i'm not a fan of that there was one other, they had one more and I can't remember, it might have been clam chowder. Mm, I, can't I can't remember, remember what it was either. So I'm wondering if their soups always rotate. If you know, let us know. All right, let's rate and rank. All right. For, before we do, can I have salt and pepper, please? Oh, absolutely. Let's give the, let's give the potato a chance here. Uh, oh, hey yeah. You know, it's Stop. kind of like people. Like, we can be friends as long as <laughs> you change ever so slightly. As long as your seasoning's right. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Um, but well, if yeah. I'm going to be friends with a potato soup, it for sure has to have salt and pepper. Absolutely. Well, pepper for sure. For me. I mean, potatoes love salt. Oh, absolutely. Think about french yes. fries. Right. <laughs> Contains the lobster bisque contains milk, cod, and lobster. So, not all uh, lobster in there. That might be where the, some of that fishy taste comes from because there's fish in there. Okay, try it with a little bit more seasoning. All right, that's much better to me. I'm actually gonna add pepper to the chowder too. That is a lot better. A lot better. Yeah, I'm sure pepper would be great in that too. I don't think this one needed the seasoning as I mean, because there's much more going on in there's this. There's a lot one. more flavor in that. Um, I didn't think it needed it as much, but I still want to try it. I mean, do you want to add stuff to the lobster bisque? There's nothing that can save that for me. Mm, I, I'm good. <laughs> Which I am pretty sure I've had lobster bisque at some point in my life, and I thought that it was pretty good, but that was like at a restaurant, I'm sure. So. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, two out of three isn't bad. Two out of three ain't bad. Um, 
So my favorite is the shrimp and corn, then the potato, then the lobster. In fact, we know somebody that is sick right now. Maybe we'll have to deliver. I mean, I don't mean it like that. Like let's, let's deliver something that we don't like. I mean, maybe we'll take some, some of all That's of these great idea. to her, uh, but somebody else might enjoy it. Like, yeah. you know, I don't yeah. know. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, but that's my order. That's your same order too. That is my same order. Yeah. How would you rate them? Um, the, compared to not homemade or restaurant soup, but compared to like, you know, canned. Like can, yeah. Well, the, I'm not sure I've had a shrimp and co corn chowder that was canned. Um, but that, that's really up there for me. I think it's probably at, at least like an eight, eight and a half. You know what? No. What? You know how much I love to make soup? Never have I ever shrimp and corn chowder. Hey, we got an idea when for corn, a cook with me video. When corn comes into season, let's let's do that. Somebody yeah, remind me. I just had a great idea for um, a cook with me video. I think the shrimp and corn chowder, compared to like chicken noodle and whatever else you can yeah. get in a can, that's a nine. Okay. That's great. Yeah. Uh, for me, the potato soup, uh, it's pretty good, but um, really lacking in some potatoes, but the flavor's okay, so I'm going to give it a 7. What I do like is the soup itself, like the body of the soup, is a little bit creamier than some other potato soup I've had mm -hmm. out of a can. Some of it, you swear, is plain milk with cut up potatoes right. in it. Yes. Which, here's a little tip. I've said this before. I'll say it again. Here's what you do to give you a little bit of texture. You gotta be careful because a little goes a long way. And if you're cooking soup, it, it can it can take one step too far in an instant. But you buy those little pouches or the boxes of instant potato flakes. And if you're making a chowder or potato soup in particular, you sprinkle some of those in there and it gives you extra, it bumps up the potato flavor and it gives you a little bit of texture. And yeah, it thickens like, it some. Thickens yeah. it, yeah. But you don't want to go too far and make mashed potatoes. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. And guess what? Like when we we did a potato soup video and people were like, that's too big. I mean, that's how we like it. You make it however you want to. But yeah. but that's a good, quick, inexpensive way. Easier than learning how to make a roux and whatever. Right. We do that too. But you can also just sprinkle instant potatoes into that kind of thing. That works wonderful. Um, do how, we... How, yeah, I... I... I gave it a seven. What do you think? I'm gonna doing? say that's like seven and a half. Okay. Four for me on the lobster bisque. I could eat it, but it wouldn't be, you know, my choice. <laughs> I am gonna eat it. <laughs> Here's what I don't know. Do I just not like lobster bisque? You know? Mm -hmm. Lobster is not my favorite seafood. Shrimp is my favorite seafood. So I don't know if it's that. I just, I don't like the texture of it. The soup part's okay, but it's it's too fishy for me. Um, that's a two for me. Ooh. Okay. I really don't like it. All right. I don't like anything about it. All right. To tell you the truth. Then I don't know why it's not a one. I guess I didn't have to spit it out. I could swallow it. But you saw me. I took a beat and was like, uh. I don't know why it's not a one. <laughs> Raving reviews here on our food channel. That's what we do. Uh, let us know if you have tried any of these from Sam's Club before or just out in the world, out in the wild. Have you ha ever had shrimp and corn chowder before? Is that a thing? Um, I think it's a thing for me now. Uh, now I want to make gonna some. We're going to have to keep our eyes open to see if it, they have any of any restaurants or anything like that yeah. that we can try. Yeah. We know potato is a thing. Potato yes. is my favorite soup. I love, 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 love potato soup. Again, just a couple of notes. <laughs> notes yeah. to the chef. A little bit thicker, a little bit more junk, and that'd be really good. Lobster bisque. I'll try it at some point again in life. Maybe a little cup at a restaurant and, and see what it's supposed to taste like. That's not it. That, that's a swing and a miss yeah. for me. So Me too. Anyway, now we have to go eat our dinner. <laughs> are you going to have a little bit of this one and a little bit of this one? Or are you going to have like just this or just that? No, I'll, I will have, um, I don't know. I'll try a little bit of each, I think. Okay. You know? There you have it. 
Come find us on Instagram if you haven't already. Love and Junk with No D. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel while you're here. Mm -hmm. We're doing lots of new things on our channel. We have a lot of ideas for new videos and uh, always let us know if you have any suggestions down in the comments. We're doing that Cook With Me segment. We have a few ideas, but we'd love to have you know more ideas for things for in the future so let us know in the comments and speaking of the comments that's where you can subscribe to this channel along with our other channel where we do other sorts of reviews like tv and movies and soon we'll yeah. be doing books and and other things and airbnb reviews all that stuff over on the other channel and then we have a game channel as well links to everything down in the comments of this video now if you love sam's club mm -hmm. or soup Yes. Or a lobster bisque and can tell us what it's really supposed to be like. I would love that. Um, or potato soup. Or shrimp and corn chowder. I did not know Yeah. what I did not know. And now that I know. Or us. <laughs> or us. Or, or the, the video. video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Yeah. It really helps our channel when you do that. Mm -hmm. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.